Hey guys, how's it going? This is Max Emanuel. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys something very simple here. Uh, this is mainly for uh, beginners that are starting out and already have an understanding of how to form uh, basic chords. And what I want to try to do is just kind of uh, give you guys a little more ideas in terms of how to maybe just improve the voicings of those chords. And there's a very, very simple trick um, that you can actually use. And it's pretty much using one position throughout all the chords. Um, now, mind you, this does apply only for songs that are just, you know, very simple in terms of chord progressions, nothing too complex. Um, but it's just a way to at least, like I said, improve your voicings and uh, just keep it simple by staying in one position. Um, now, so we're in, we're going to be in C major, uh, in the C major scale. Now, mind you, because I do play by ear, um, this is going to be strictly just visual. Um, in terms of theory, not so much. So, um, yeah, so this is a basic C chord. Okay. Which is C, E, and G. And let's just say that we all start off like this. Okay. I'm usually playing the same thing on both hands. So what I want to try to have you guys do is kind of break out of that or at least get out of the box and kind of play chords like this. All right, so that same chord like this, maybe like this here, okay? And all we got to do is if we look at the C chord, okay, and if we just look at there are three notes, so one, two, and three. So we're going to take the second note here and we're just going to move it back a step. Now, when you apply this to other um, other keys um, or other tones, I guess, um, you're going to want to move it back a full step. And the thing is, a half step here is if you wanted, wanted to go from this key to this key, but we want to go from this key to this key. So that would be a full tone, right? You have semitones and then that would be a full tone. And I'm only saying this because if you were to do this on like F sharp, for example, and if I say go back one on the third key, it's not going to be that one, it's going to be this one. So you just want to know the understanding that it's, or have the understanding that it's a full tone, not a semitone, a tone. But anyways, we're in C. So from E to D. And what we want to do is just add another G. So this is G here, and we just want to add another one here. So pretty much an octave. And that is pretty much the position that we're going to be in. So this is the position we're going to use on our right hand. And now again, going to our left hand, if we're used to playing chords like this, all right, the first thing you want to try to do is just eliminate the third key. So we have the C and the G, or the first, and in this case, the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. And you want to go down an octave. Okay, kind of like that. And now we're going to take a simple progression and just see how it works, um, because that would actually work with every for the most part, every chord um, within the C scale. Um, so actually, before I go into progression, I'll just show you guys how it works. So if I go up, <clears throat> if I go up the scale, and just keeping this position, it would sound something like this. Okay. So I just stayed in this position and went up the scale and everything seemed to work. All right, so let's just take um, a simple progression. Um, so for example, uh, let's see here. Um, we have a song that goes um, your typical C to G to A minor to F major, okay? So, okay. So all you wanna do is just stay in this position and we're just gonna play those chords in our left hand. We're gonna play them this way. If you guys can, we can also add an octave here. Okay. So again, it's C, G, A minor, and F. So the first chord is C, and then G, and F, sorry, A minor, and then F. So again. So that seemed to work, and then we're just staying in this same position here. Um, little note, when we play the G chord, 
okay? It's kind of, uh, it, it's a sustain, but if we want to resolve, we could just add in this B here, right? Because this is the, the G chord, which has the B here. So since we're playing it this way, when we hit G, we can add the B here just to kind of like resolve it and just hear that G chord um, within that, uh, I guess, that um, chord there. So uh, let's try another progression. Say if it's a song that goes like this. Okay, so it'd be F, A minor, to G, to C over E. Okay, so let's try that um, using this position here. So it'd be like this. Now this is where I say that we can hit that B just to kind of like uh, emphasize that G chord. And then we go back to the C over G, sorry, C over E, which would be this position here. Then again. Okay. Now, to challenge yourselves a little bit more, what you can start doing also is adding a little bit of rhythmic, or sorry, a little bit of a little bit of rhythm, and, and that's starting to arpeggiate. So within this same position, we can start doing things like this. Okay, and what we can try to do as well is move up and down an octave. So we can play this and this. Um, arpeggiating uh, would be something like this. Okay, something like that. And let's take that first um, progression that we did, which was a C, G, A minor, and F. So if we start doing that, adding the arpeggios, it would be something like this. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a simple trick. I don't know if there's actually even a name for what I'm doing here, but um, it seems to work. I use it a lot um, just to kind of, uh, it's, it's a simple way of playing, but it just adds a little bit more of a richer sound to the chords that you play, right? So um, yeah, that's all I wanted to just try to show you guys uh, today. Um, drop a like if you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos like these. And uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in my next video. Take care guys.